off season for us starts in February. We go through February draft meetings with our road scouts. Usually it takes about 12 days. Um, you know, that's we're in the draft room from 8.30 to 6.30 every day. Um, from there, we head straight to the combine for seven or eight days. Then obviously we were virtual last year. So this year, like going back to that sense of normalcy was refreshing. The combine was great because you got to see everybody in person again. It's still always a nice event because you get to see friends and colleagues from other teams and you know and that's always great. Ultimately just putting together a plan. I see I see Andrew Berry in the crowd right now, the, the, the maestro of it all, somebody who's meant a lot to me. I'm gonna get under, hold on real quick. Oh, you know, man. Good to see you. You did a great job, at least for the part that I saw. Yeah, I was, I was <laughs> I'm talking too quick. All right. Good afternoon everyone. Um, so it's good to be back in Indianapolis, right, in person. Uh, I know we are very excited because the Combine really marks the first time that you know, we get a chance to spend kind of quality time and extended time with you know, many of the draft uh, prospects who are on our board. The most important part uh, in the process for us at the Combine is to be able to visit with these players and to look them in the eye to go through our interview process with them. Although we have limited time, we really can gain still a lot of information. And the information we're trying to gain during that time, we need to know where this player is mentally at the end of 20 minutes. Um, and, you know, and although there's some traits that players have, such as work ethic and their attitude that might bring a certain level of their mental ability above that you know, over time, you do get a good baseline on where they are mentally. Chad has done a great job over really the last three off seasons in terms of, you know, vetting the football acumen for the receiver prospects that are coming out in the draft. What you're gonna do is you're gonna give us as much detail as you can when we start talking about the actual plays and some of that. Cause I just wanna see where you are as far as your knowledge of what you guys did. Yeah, like everything, it's a piece of the puzzle. It's not the end all be all. Um, you know, we're not gonna draft a guy because you know, of a poor interview, but it is important to just see that they could be a good, good fit for, uh, for that room. We're very fortunate to have a staff here that's very good. You know, I have Callie that's working with myself, Kevin Rogers and Stan DeLuca is the scout that works with us from the personnel department. And between us, our group, we get together and there's a lot of communication on who we prioritize as those players we want to look at. The process of our evaluation is not only the players that we're going to draft, but it's preparing for potential free agents that we might acquire to our team. Hey, let's talk a little Mari Cooper, right? He's right, yeah. the Dallas Cowboy. Could be up. Ian Rappaport reported that the Cowboys are likely to part ways with him by the league new year. So this is wild. If he's out in Dallas, is there a best fit for Amari Cooper? The same as in there. I already looked into the cameras. Out. Best sandal placer in the game. Let's go. Emmy award winning right there. <laughs> <laughs> Amari, one of the best route runners in the league, an excellent separator, can play outside, can play inside. We think he's a guy that, that can really add a lot to the offense. It is breaking news. Welcome inside our NFL Network studios. Sources say that the Cleveland Browns are in agreement with the Dallas Cowboys on a trade for Amari Cooper. Sweet mother of God, the Browns just got Amari Cooper! Amari's crazy to say now, he's, he's like a vet, you know, he's very seasoned. I think when you, when the first thing that jumps out when you watch Amari play is his ability to separate. Um, he's just got a unique level of skill and talent in that phase of his game. And so whether you put him inside, outside, on the move, uh, he just has a, a very crafty and consistent way of, of getting open and, and being pretty QB friendly. All right, where's number two going? All right, we are going to take you to your position, Coach. Shadow. Shadow, okay. See you. All right, see you. All right. All right. There we go. All right. See you. Give me four of these. Anytime you can add players to your roster that you've seen talents and abilities over the years when you've looked at them from an outside looking in, and now you get an opportunity to work with them, it's awesome. Whenever you have turnover, I don't even see it as a challenge, I see it as fun. You know, I'm seeing it as this is an opportunity for us to get with those players and start, you know, building a relationship. That's part of the process and that's part of building a team. Head of equipment. We got some stuff, as you can see. 
I've never really had a problem, you know, learning playbooks and stuff like that. It's always interesting to, to learn a new playbook, to know what type of a scheme that um, the, the team wants to run. They've asked me, like, you know, what my input would be, um, you know, the type of things that I like and stuff like that. So I'm excited about that. I really am to even have uh, the opportunity to say, oh, this is what I like to run. Uh, this is what I know I'll get open on and stuff like that. But, you know, at the end of the day, I'm just excited to come in and get to work and contribute to winning. Yeah. Hello? Hey, Jakeem, this is Megan with the Browns. How are you? I'm doing good. And yourself? Good. Hey, I just wanted to call, touch base. First of all, welcome to the team. Um, Thank you. <laughs> I just wanted to touch base about your flight today. So right. we have one booked for you. It's leaving Dallas at 645. We will have our football ops intern pick you up from the airport when you land. And then he'll take you to the hotel. And then someone from um, our athletic training staff will pick you up tomorrow morning for your physical. So it'll be a quick trip in and out. Um, we'll really just get, get you physical, bring you in, have you meet some of the coaches and some of our staff, and then get you out of here. All right. Thank you very much. <laughs> no problem. Take care. Uh, you too. Bye. Cleveland were very aggressive, and I've been looking at them for the longest, and they needed a returner. And I was just like, especially, at, especially with receivers too, um, I was just like, no better fit. I love the coaches, you know, CEOs here at uh, Chad O'Shea. And so I was like, what are the odds of us being back in the same building? The future is going to be great. That's all I can say. I had the opportunity to work with him in 2019 when we were both at the Miami Dolphins together. And can't say enough good things about him. You know, we're excited to get the player, but I'm even more excited to get the person here in Jakeem Grant. He's a team guy. He's a very unselfish, works extremely hard. And again, we're so excited to get his talents here. How many yards did you have receiving in that Vikings 2017 preseason game? Uh, I think I 140. Yeah, I was on the other side. Yes, oh. <laughs> I, 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 I was like, who is this dude? <laughs> yep. Well, I'll catch up in a little bit. All right, congrats. Thank you. If they kick it to me, they're gonna pay. That's uh, that's I don't, that's my whole thing. It's like it's either you kick it out of bounds or I'm going to the crib. And so um, definitely gonna change that this year. Um, I'm not banking on just getting one. I'm banking on getting a multiple. So I mean, they know they know if they kick it to me, they they seen the tape, they seen everything. I'm not a fair catch guy. So just letting them know now, I don't fair catch. And so do what you want to do with that information. You know, it gets you excited because they want to be here. They want to play for this organization. They want to help us get better. Um, so it's fun to to hear that in their voice and, you know, play a part of, like, helping continue their dream in the NFL. You know, I feel very good about our back seven. Uh, we're getting a lot of returning players that play well for us in the secondary. We really had to address the front um, inside and outside, which we've done a little bit so far. Hey, what's up, man? How are you doing? Taven has the uh, copyright on the Wyoming Wild Man or something like that. Uh, but that's him, very athletic. Um, you can see him when it comes to pass rush downs. Um, but when you meet him in person, man, he is intense. You know you're going to get his best and he's going to show up every day to practice. Oh, it's been good to be here. You know, got to meet everybody, get my book, get ready to go, and uh, just excited to be here. And I mean, you get to play next to some great players. And obviously, when you play next to good players, you know, they're going to. You know, they're going to double them, and hopefully they just kind of ignore me. Where's Chase at, man? It's right here. Where's Bush? Hey, it's, man, where's the it's long it. hair at, man? It's cool. over. Cut it. So I cut my hair, and then two days later, I, I got traded. Uh, you know, obviously, there's mixed emotions anytime you sure. go through such a life event. But I was, you know, ecstatic, you know, just, you know, from the moment I was talking to my family and uh, the proximity to my family in Pittsburgh and Toledo um, and to be a Cleveland Brown, it's, it's a real honor. I'm, I'm so excited. The dog pound, baby. Let's go. Hey, how's it going? Hi, Equipment? Yes. Cool. How's it going? Yeah, what, what uh, number situation are we looking like here? You know, I'm not sure off the top of my head, but I can look. Okay, this, this helps here. 
such a tremendous opportunity playing alongside Miles and the rest of the guys. Playing football is, like I said, uh, something I love to do. I, f I think is uh, is something I was I was put on this earth to do, and uh, this opportunity is is one that uh, I want to you know take advantage of and uh, make the best possible. The work we did for Deshaun, it was honestly probably the most extensive transaction that I've been a part of in my career. It was months of work, and really it was months of work even before the point we had really decided that we were comfortable with making the trade, just because of how much was involved with it. There was a, a ton of diligence from a legal perspective, from a personal perspective, and then obviously from a, you know, from a football perspective. We really felt good about it, and we're excited to have him on the team evaluating Deshaun, when I got a chance to go back and look at his 2020 tape, I was I was impressed, really shocked. Didn't realize what a player he had become. He's a guy that can take a bad play and make it a good play just by his ability. His accuracy is, is very good accuracy. His arm skill is unbelievable. He says, you know, a live arm, you know, as an evaluator, I, that, my job is to evaluate the talent. Um, and he got a top marks for me, for sure. From my standpoint, my involvement was mostly football oriented. So it was taking a look at him from his past performance as a football player, what his strengths were, what his weaknesses were, how high his ceiling was. And I think very quickly when you turn on the tape, you see that level of ability. Um, he's a very impressive player, just doing some background information and looking back at it when he was coming out of college, the person, the leader, the player, it all matched up to what we are, what we want to be and how we want to operate as an offense. Uh, hey, I got some questions for you here right. real quick. Question number one: What's your leadership style? You know, I, I, I talk when I need to talk and say what I what I what I need to say when it's much needed. But I, I let my work and my example and you know my play do all the the leadership. You know, certainly with Deshaun or that 2017 quarterback class in general, uh, there are a number of those players that you know at the time um, we were considering taking high in, in round one, um, and so there's definitely additional diligence. Um, you know, that gets performed at, at that time. Uh, but that's really not the stopping point because that class gets drafted, we're five years removed from that. So there's the five year period where you're either continually updating it or digging in more, but it certainly gives you, uh, you know, a foundation uh, upon which to, to work and, and start. All right, now this one. Any indication that sucker could be coming, Sean? Uh, safety was low, um, so I, I, that could have, you know, tip me, uh, but I think they disguise it very well. I think that's what makes the entire draft process really useful, right? Like I, I always say information is, is currency, and so, but you never know when you need to use that currency, right? So it could be uh, on draft night when you're taking that player, but it could also be two, three years down the road in a potential trade or if they get cut or, you know, if there's just an opportunity for you to sign them as, as a free agent. So that information is useful. Yes, people change. But there are a lot of foundational bits and, and elements to what you get on them when they're first coming out that is useful for five, six years down the road. I don't know what the hoop game is. Yeah, my hoop game, nice now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what the hoop game is. <laughs> I used to hoop back in the day. Yeah, I used to play back in the day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we seen each other earlier. What's up, man? What's up, How you doing, man? I'm good, I'm good. How's it been going? It's been well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah just so, get you in. You know, fill it out. Yeah. I do actually want you to meet somebody, so this is just How you doing, boss? Deshaun. Yes, sir. Excellent. Nice to see you. Looking forward to it. Yes, sir. Awesome. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yes, yeah, so remember I told you I'll take a guy and I give him up? Yeah. yeah. You going to be with me? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. we yeah. definitely going to work. Wait, room. I want you to be the heaven, too. How you doing, Deshaun? Looking forward to meeting you. Yes, sir. You. Nice to meet you. Too. Let's do it. Try to keep all the guys in front of you strong. Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Today, ever since, well, really last night when I got off the plane uh, to eating some good food downtown and to waking up and spending time with the, the training staff and the coaching staff and me and everyone walking through the hallways. It was all great energy, so I'm happy to be here. I'm excited to be here and looking forward to being here for the rest of my career. What's happening, boss? Deshaun. Yes, sir. Nice, nice to see you, man. Oh, sir. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. What's up, boss? Deshaun. Nick, yes, sir. Nice, to, nice meet to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Right here is fire. What do you think about the 
about the color? The color's crazy. The brown and the orange? Yeah. Which one do you like the most? I don't know, that's the hard part, because the, the all white be clean, <laughs> and you got the brown that be be nasty and subtle. It's hard to pick. It might, it might, it might take me a while to pick. It was an interesting timeline. Uh, basically had a maybe five day window to kind of decide on where I want to go. I didn't want to rush this decision. It led to Browns being out, but necessarily they were never out. Uh, me and my agent knew that. and. When it came down to it, what was the best situation for me, ultimately, to come in and help a team win a Super Bowl? And where can I continue to go into a great chemistry, a great organization, a great GM, a great head coach, and a great staff around them, and just a great fan base? And that's what I wanted, ultimately, and I knew that Cleveland was the opportunity. On average, I think a third of every team turns over, regardless of record. Um, you know, so there is a bit of a kind of a transient nature, so to speak, of, of, of rosters. Um, you know, in our sport, we're ultimately trying to assemble the best team possible. Awesome. What's uh, what's your schedule like? I met training staff. Uh, Wait, staff. Yeah. Like You're in good hands with your walker. Sure. You sound like a trouble man around here. That's a good. It's been good, you know, going around, seeing all the faces, putting, uh, you know, faces to a lot of the names and voices that I've heard over the phone uh, a couple days and, uh, you know, getting familiar with the building and, and seeing the people at the ins and outs of the building. So it's been good. We've always valued having a strong number two in the quarterback room just because of injury availability. Uh, you want to make sure that you always have a chance to win, even if you are dealing with some level of adversity at that position. And we think Jacoby in terms of his skill set and then also just in terms of his makeup, you know, who he is as a, as a professional, as a person, um, you know, fits the bill perfectly for us. Just opportunity and that was all I wanted. It was, it was an opportunity and, and um, you know, this presented the best opportunity for me uh, and you know, I was all over it. Jacoby's a guy that's played a lot of football in the NFL as a starter um, and as a backup, so he brings some knowledge, experience there. He's a little bit of a different style than Deshaun, but uh, you know, a, a lot of knowledge of the game of football. Um, real good understanding for scheme protections as we started out. Um, excited to have him in the room, and then uh, adding Josh as of late. That's a huge addition. Uh, I've heard nothing but great things about Josh as far as a, a teammate. Um, and the way he acts in the room, I know he's extremely intelligent. The smarter guys in the room are always, always great to have. So we're excited to get to work with these guys. Every offseason you feel good about the players that you're bringing in, the players that you bring back. Ultimately, you are making bets based on skill set, performance, and you know, makeup and put a lot of work into it and you know, you're optimistic that the decisions that you make uh, are going to turn out well in the fall and you feel good about the people that we brought in, but we have to see how it plays out. So with free agency, um, it doesn't matter if it's, you know, pro free agency or college draft, like we always try to build our roster. So it doesn't affect our job with who we sign and pro free agency, how many draft picks we have. You know now, you know, we're not picking at 13. And just because we gave up some draft picks to get something back in return doesn't mean, you know, we're just going to be like, oh, okay, we don't have to worry about this guy because he's going in the first round. We're still going to vet these guys as if we did have a first round pick. So today we're going to USC's Pro Day. USC's got a really good class, obviously, being one of the you know, premier programs in America. We'll be excited to get a last look at them before we head back to Cleveland here in April for the draft. Cool. Zach is our West Coast area scout. When he gives his reports, he gets so excited, he gets so amped up. I really like this kid. To me, he fits the profile perfectly of exactly what we're looking for. It's a weird feeling when uh, there's somebody you've worked on for multiple years, and then if you select that player, and then they're wearing that brown and orange. So it is surreal to see some of those guys, you know. One of my first players that we drafted was Sione Takitaki. Another guy, you know, selected out of my area was Demetric Felton. And it was the same thing. We saw a lot of value in Demetric. That's, you know, coming from your area, that's your guy, but now it's, he's our guy. What's up, Michelle? How are you? 
Yeah, so really it's here, it's just another piece of the puzzle, you know. We get to see these guys in person again, see them work out again, and really you want to see during the workout is the physical testing matching up with how I viewed this prospect in the fall. And really it's another good chance to talk to these guys. Do you go to the combine? Yes, sir, 34. Yeah. You gonna do it today? Yeah. You're gonna get better today. 30, well, we'll see, I'll be, I'll be looking at it, we'll see it is. It's just another opportunity to really just get up close and personal with these guys and get to know them as best we can so we can make the best decision possible if we decide to bring one of them in. <laughs> the juice, the juice. There we go. <laughs> the pro days, it, it, they're much more intimate than the combine. Like the combine, you can really feel the nerves of these kids, and but here they're in their element. are comfortable here. These guys have been here for multiple years. You can really kind of see truly what their personality is and how loose and comfortable they look. And it's just a chance to get even more up close and personal. Look at that. We are this dialed today, big dog. We are dialed. Got a couple more weeks left the pro days and then we'll go back to Cleveland for the draft in April. So, you know, kind of the uh, one liner that you always hear, it's a scout Super Bowl. And truly it kind of is like that because We've been working on these players for a year to 18 months, and it's our chance to really just stand on the table and fight for guys that we think are gonna be good NFL players, and more importantly, fight for people that we think are gonna be good members of our culture and our team for the Cleveland Browns. So it's pretty special feeling. You know, our players are back on campus, which is always exciting. And then for us, really, it's strategy planning for the draft. You don't have to be here, and you're here, all right? I appreciate that. Now we get to come together as a team. We get to work, but first things first, let's come together as a team.